I was very excited, and I said, well, let me get back to you, let me think about it, but I knew at that moment I wanted to come. Yeah. I mean, I want to be a part of history. I couldn't stand by and not do many things, because in my lifetime I want to see this happen, so here we are, we're going to make it happen, and he's going to be the next president of the United States, and he's going to bring us together and build us. I really think it's, 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 a, it's a really good experience. I'm glad to be on this bus with everybody, and... Gonna win. People are making this commitment to come down for five days. Um, I almost feel like I, you know, since, since I'm from the area, it's almost like bringing all these people with me to make my home <laughs> to uh, to win this together. That's really exciting. Because it's going to take more than just four years That's before right. he, we can have change. And um, on our medical issues and economic issues is going to take a lot more than four years from before he could clean up someone else's mess. And I initially said, oh, I, I can't possibly leave work. I can't possibly do it. And then when I thought about it, I, I really thought, oh my God, I, I can't not go. And I really, um, I really began to realize how excited I was. I and mean, I am so not only excited, but I am so thrilled to be able to, to do this kind of thing. I've never done anything quite like this. I, I feel he's a great leader. I still, I don't want to put all the eggs in his basket, however, though. It, it, it really is, we all have to make sacrifices and change, but I think he's the best that we have to bring people together. And I can't see anyone better to fight for our health care, to fight for my children's future, for my grandkids' future, and for this country. Change can come, and it's coming today. What's this? Hundreds of thousands. So the final number, the Barack Obama goal was 150,000. It's somewhere in the high 200,000s. the Latinos, if you turn them out, we win. Because if we do that, if we win Virginia, we win America, and we can go on and take this country back to Mexico. They're eager, they're ready to go, they're excited, they said we're going to make history. Bowling Park had 1,600 people in line at 5 minutes to 7. Yeah. And if you, you know, if you think about, the, I'll compare the line numbers to the vote goal numbers at some point in each of these precincts, but like a huge number of the people we want to get are there, right? <laughs> with 89% of precincts reporting in Norfolk, 69% Obama, 30%
know, she wasn't a new voter, but she was telling us how she remembered when she used to have to go up the back stairs to vote. So it meant a lot to her to be able to go out and a vote, vote for Obama and have her vote count. And say to me that there has never been anyone to come into their project and campaign. I was standing at the poll on election day. A woman came up with her mother in the wheelchair and her daughter said she was so happy because her mother was 75 years old and this was the first time that she was voting. She oh. had, she was a first time voter, had just registered. And I thought to myself, good, 75 years old yeah. and you're just now voting? Mm -hmm. But it showed me how much Obama meant to the world, to the yeah. people. And I'm feeling like what I want to do is I want to knock on the doors of, now that we have a president who is labor friendly, I want to knock on the doors in a sense of the people I work with and need to organize. So I'm not going to be knocking on the doors of uh, Virginians whom I got to know and love. I'm going to go back home and start getting people I work with involved. This victory alone is not the change we seek. It is only the chance for us to make that change.